Red, ripe, and ready to be picked, sliced, and eaten. But these maters aren't hanging from the vine in somebody's garden, but rather indoors, greenhouse grown on the UT Ag campus. Plant Sciences graduate student Susanna Munson likes the growing conditions here. It's a highly controlled system to the, the ventilation, the temperature, um, light intensity, everything is, can be controlled in exactly the environment, the optimal environment for your, your plant. This tomato crop is part of the Protected Agriculture Program at UT's Institute of Agriculture. Here scientists are grafting tomato plants to improve yields and taste. They're also working with other fruits and vegetables, including strawberries, blackberries, and onions. Researchers say when we protect the culture, the growing conditions in other words, it gives farmers the advantage of producing a higher quality crop for consumers. There's really two ways that people can make money and protect a culture. One is high volume and the other one is high value. UT's Dr. Dean Copsell works to enhance the nutritional value of many of our foods. So in essence what we're really researching is how to make the vegetables that you eat better for you. And in doing that, protected culture really lends itself well to that because as we move indoors, we now have control over all the environmental factors that a farmer would have to take for granted out in the field. As our population grows, we lose land for production agriculture. It stands to reason then that greenhouse farming will be even more critical for our future food supply and we're already seeing a worldwide increase in greenhouse crops. The Protected Ag program focuses on giving farmers reliable information about crops grown in greenhouses, tunnels, and other horticultural structures where conditions are controlled. So we're hoping that we'll gain either disease resistance or superior yield or superior fruit quality from this. UT plant physiologist Dr. Carl Sam says many of the fruits and vegetables we eat now are grown in greenhouses, but in other countries. He wants some of that production to come to Tennessee. These are high value crops that if we can develop the production systems and the technology and show the growers how to do it, there's an opportunity for them to capture some of that market. The idea of protected agriculture has been around a while, but look for a greater emphasis on it in the future. After all, you can put a greenhouse just about anywhere. This is Chuck Denny reporting.